Hello everyone and welcome back. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody who joined me on the live stream. Every Wednesday, I live stream at 11.30 a.m. Pacific. I highly suggest you join us. There's some really good chat going on and it's not even about tanking. We had some good DPS conversations during the last live stream too. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. Now I do get a lot of people asking me in messages, comments, and tweets, what tank is right for them or what tank class is best? So let's go over the strengths and weaknesses of every single tank class so that you can really decide for yourself what you want to play. So the first class we're going to go over is Brewmaster Monks. Now if you're absolutely new to the game, I don't suggest them because they have the steepest learning curve. They are the kings of damage mitigation. They are one of the best tanks in the game right now. However, learning how to play them is very difficult because you need to manage a lot more than typical tanks need to manage. They take a lot less damage up front, both from physical and magic sources. They have very strong cooldowns, but managing your HP and your cooldowns along with a mechanic that they have called stagger which makes them take damage over time can be a lot to manage for most people at least to manage efficiently if you do not manage your monk tank correctly you're actually going to be hurting yourself because if you're not good at managing this then you're actually going to be worse off than picking any of the other tanking classes the next class is a prop paladin they are extremely solid tanks they're very good they are the kings of aoe threat they can pick up as many mobs as they really want to and hold them for the group. Another thing that they really have that makes them stand out over other tanks is not only do they have the mitigation of a tank, but they also have self heals. So you have a tank that's really, really good, a very solid tank that can also heal themselves if the situation demands it. Prop Paladins also wear the best armor in the game and they have a shield, so you know that their upfront mitigation is going to be very powerful. Up next, we have the Guardian Druids, and Druids right now are in an extremely, extremely good spot. They are some of the best tanks right now. Their bear form makes their armor go through the roof. That and their active mitigation which doubles or triples their armor depending on how many stacks you get makes them a force to be reckoned with. They don't take as much damage as any other class. Their AoE threat is very solid coming second only to the prop paladin and they also have self heals. So something we see in the top tier of tanking is you need to have very good mitigation and self heals to reach that top tier. And I do think right now top tier is basically druid and paladin and brewmaster if you really know how to play them up next is the newest tank to the family the demon hunter tank now the demon hunter tank they are very mobile and they have self-healing but it comes in burst which is not what you really want when you're a tank as a tank you want to be as steady as possible which is another point to the brewmasters their damage intake is extremely steady as opposed to demon hunters where the damage they take is very spiky and they can also heal themselves but not in every situation when they want to it's coupled rng and a little bit bursty so demon hunters fall a little bit short with tanks right now another thing that really separates demon hunters from other classes is they are an extremely mobile class you need to be moving around when you're playing a demon hunter in order to maximize everything if you like a highly mobile class that jumps around moves around everywhere and can heal themselves too maybe demon hunters for you but you should be aware that they're probably near the bottom of the list for tanking up next is prop warriors and as many of you guys may know by my channel i am very biased to prop warriors i love my prop warrior i have ever since i created him back in wrath of the lich king and prop warriors right now fall very middle of the road they're not the best tank but they're not the worst they're very very good for physical mitigation not as great for magic mitigation but you can still play around with their move sets if you're coming from another mmo to world of warcraft and you're used to tanking in any other mmo warrior tanks are probably going to beat what you want to play just because they take the basics and essence of tanking and they apply it really well to their class. Lastly we have death knights and they play a little bit weird and they're a bit of a wonky class to play if you've never played with them before. The thing that separates death knight tanks from every other class is that death knight tanks have extremely good self healing but to offset the fact that they have really good healing they actually take a lot more damage than other tanks. This makes them a reactionary tank. You need to be careful you need to watch what abilities the boss is casting you need to watch swing speeds to know when you're going to take a huge spike of damage and as soon as that damage lands i'm talking within a second or two you need to be healing yourself already so if you do not know fights if you're not comfortable taking big spikes of damage or if you can't manage too many things at once like knowing exactly when the swing timer is going to expire or when a cast is going to hit you i don't suggest you try death knights they also struggle a bit with mobility they're not amazing 
at mobility. They do have a few interesting abilities that cut distance, but unfortunately they fall short just because as a tank you want to be taking steady damage and that's the one thing that Death Knights do not do well. They take huge spikes, but they offset them with their healing. To sum up the list, flavor of the month right now in this current patch in Legion, I would put Druids, Paladins, and Brewmaster tanks at the top of the list, but this is with the caveat that Brewmaster tanks are very difficult to use, huge learning curve. If you aren't up for that learning curve, then you're going to be using them incorrectly, which is not going to be good for anyone. Second tier, or the middle tier, you have Prot Warriors, which again, middle of the road, very solid tank. They're not at the bottom of the list, but they're not at the top. If you're used to tanking in any other MMO, be it new or old, Prot Warriors are going to give you the easiest transition into tanking World of Warcraft. And unfortunately, at the bottom of the list, we have Death Knights and Demon Hunters. Just because the damage they intake is more spiky than it should be, these tanks fall a little bit short, they're not as comfortable to heal, and with those spikes of damage, if you do not react accordingly, you could go down pretty easily. So I hope this helps, I hope you guys are able to pick exactly what tanking class you want, whether you're switching from DPS or healers, or another completely different different game welcome to the world of tanking down in the description below i'm gonna have a link to a few forums a few discords that you can join to be part of the conversation to be at the bleeding edge of tanking and to know exactly how to play your tanking class whichever one you choose from this list there is a discord for them down below and you can talk with the community see how you should itemize your gear your basic rotation and anything that really pertains to your class and as always good luck tanking out there